Hello everybody, um, this is Alex in Cooking with Alex. Um, what we're going to do today is, well what I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself up some meals. Um, I'm going to do myself uh, a uh, beef stew, um, lovely beef stew. Uh, then I'm going to do, separate it up and uh, freeze it. I've got a lot of stuff here, courgettes, uh, carrots, potatoes, uh, mushrooms. Um, in here, I've got the beef with the flour and the um, seasoning. I'm going to give that a good shake. Uh, first of all, let's do the pan put the heat on. So this is fry light. Um, and the reason I'm using that is I'm trying to lose weight, to be honest with you. Um... And my daughter, my daughter looks at these videos and she says, "Dad, you got to use your fry light rather than the, rather than the sunflower oil." So that's what I'm doing. All right. Um, first thing first, onion. Um. So we're going to chop the onion up. Um. I put the oven on. The reason I want the oven off, folks, is because this is a cast iron pot, which I like to use, but you put it on low heat, stick it in the oven, forget about it, basically. Um, and it cook through and it, it'd be lovely. So we're going to shut that away. I love cooking stew, to be honest with you, because you can just, I mean... We see how roughly I'm chopping up these onions. That's it, basically, with onions, with, with stews. That's it, you know, that's it. Roughly chop them up. And how long do that take? You know, I'm not being fancy or nothing like that. Just stick them in. That's it, done. Um, go get me spoon. I give it a good stir. I would season it at this point with salt and pepper, but there's salt and pepper in the beef. So we're going to give that a good shake, folks. With the flour and the seasoning, look. And we're going to cover all that lovely beef with, with the flour and the seasoning. And people say put it in a plastic bag, but you know, I've got some Tupperware stuff here, so. It's easier for me to use that rather than plastic bags. There you go, that's done. Um, and while we're doing that, we could chop up some uh, courgettes. And, um, that's that done. And the last one, basically, I wanted to do it because I bought these courgettes and going cheap, to be honest, um, in, a, in, a, in a deal. Super six deal. Um, and of course, I buy it all. And I find out what, what, what do I do with it? You know? So I thought, a little better than just do a stew, basically. Cook a stew, there you go. Done. Yeah. Freeze it up, put the portions for myself, and then freeze it up. By the way, if you like these videos, please subscribe. So, uh, eh, eh, give me a like. Um, you'll be able to have a disabled man. Uh, so he's on benefit. So. Would appreciate it. So there we go. That's the, that's the onions doing. Um, so they're nice and brown. It's what you want. A bunch of brown, which is what you want, and uh, take this beef out there. Now, you see the beef is nicely um, coated in the flour. Don't just pour it in there. Remember, flour is a thickener, so I don't really want my stew really thick.
bigger folks, that's that done. Um, show you that flower now. Give you a little bit of that's done. One of the easiest things to do with a stew and um, that for the life of me realise, you know, why people think There we go folks, so there's the beef in there, we've got the courgettes down. These spring onions, I just had them left over to be honest. Um, spring onions, I just had them left over just to take the order as well. Well it's not one night, innit? So, you know. Get that beef brown off a little bit. Usually, what we do in the old days, to be honest with you, I'll take a good big slab of butter, or a nice chunk of butter, I'll put that in with it, but that was bad for me, and that's what led to me becoming ill, to be honest with you. Um, so, there's a lot healthier way of doing things. Uh, I also promised myself for a year that I wouldn't have any takeaways or eat any rubbish, or, and hopefully, it will do me the water good. Who you got any suggestions of mine to uh my cooking better please uh leave them in comments you know let's add all this veg here we What do you think about this hot weather we're having over here at the moment? I'll tell you what, it's great to have it, but I'm not used to it, are we? There we go, that goes in there like that. There's a the crew laughing at me. Potatoes, um, these are potatoes that again with the, was on going cheap with this with a certain deal, and um, I'm, just, I'm not going to repeat them, I'm just going to chop them up the chunks and stick them in. Put them in the fridge. Now, the problem with keeping these in the fridge, if, if cool and dry is what you want, unfortunately, I can't I'll keep them cool, I can't keep them dry. So, you need to use them a bit quick before they rot off, to be honest with you. There you go, that leaves me. That's that done. Right. Mushrooms, folks. Now these are what they call wonky veg, so they're cheap, which I like. Um, then I'll clean them off myself, give them a bit of a wash, and just stick them in, chuck, chuck them in. Dirt, the dirt's all on the bottom, so just cut the bottoms off, and they're perfectly all right. We'll see these mushrooms in, and that's more or less it to be honest. Um, I put some uh, some tomatoes and some tomato puree and tomato and uh, garlic puree, and um, I'll show you the amounts I'm using because I don't know about you, but I was very like 
stingy on the amount because I didn't know what I was doing when I first started with, with tomato purees and purees and stuff. So I'll be very stingy with it and think, oh, that's not what you do with with, with purees. I've learned, you know, I've learned so far. So be generous with it. So they're going to stay in your fridge and water, so be generous with it. You're not going to ruin the dish. There you go folks, that's that done. Get a bit of a clear up. I'm wondering where I live by the way, I live in a council um, prefab. How about that? That was hot. See, I should have done that then. <laughs> I forget that there's a cast iron pan. I should be really touching with bare hands, so. Bit not what you mean, never mind. Right. Tin tomatoes. Um, that's just a tin of tomatoes. That goes in. Now, that is the amount of tomato puree and. Um, garlic puree I'm going to use like I said be generous with it folks um, it's only going to go off you know use it use it up and then I just want to remember that And use it all up. As much as you can. Put a bit of water in with that. Just get the dregs of it. And we'll put some more water in that. There we go folks, um, so that's that done, there, nice stew, they make making a nice stew to be honest, um, I have it down really low, uh, because this acts, this cast iron pots, I mean, they act as a double oven really, um, we put, if you put the temperature on low, what is going to happen is the, the cast iron is going to heat up and it's going to be a lot hotter in here than what is actually out in the in the oven. So that's why, you know, if you're cooking with cast iron in, in the oven, be very careful with it. Remember, don't, I, I, I used to do roasted joints in them, but to be honest with you, the timers were off, the meat used to come out terrible, and um, so I don't do that no more. Um, just let that boil away. Um, oh, yes, before I forget, folks. Um, just gonna put a couple of stock cubes with this as well. Uh, And that way we covered all bases then, haven't we? We're going to put this for the stock cubes. Yeah, it's chicken. I'm putting a chicken stock cubes to be honest because that's what I've got. Oh, put beef ones if you want. Um,
I chop at me. Okay. I chop at me stock cubes. Um. Just makes it easier for them to dissolve, really. Um. In the mixture. I tend to add these on their own, you know, I put them in to freeze them off. I tend to have these on their own. Um, knives, very important, keep them sharp. But please, look, I've had accidents. I've cut myself stupid with them, to be honest. Um, so please, 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 if you keep sharp knives, please be very, very careful and not to cut yourself. Right, uh, let's just clean this off. I'm a bit of a clean freak as well, to be honest. Uh, There you go, folks. That's that done. I'll do the washing up later on. Um, lid goes on now. Low heat. Just let that boil away for a minute. Um, there we go. Uh, I will uh, talk to you again after after this after this comes to the boil. Uh, put it in the oven. You can leave it in there for as long as you want, really. Um, I tend to leave it in there for a good couple, good one or two hours on a really low heat. I mean, I'm on number two here for the oven. So, you know, that way, this will be done. You can put other things in there as well to fill up the oven. So if you want to bake a sandwich or if you want to put some sausages or a piece of chicken, you can. That I am on the top shelf. Just just to, just so it's not a waste, but... Um, yeah, this is all about using up what I got rather than rather than chucking it out and buying new. So, like I say, folks, if you like this, please subscribe. If or leave a comment or or like. Um, this I'm just a bloke trying to do his best, really. So you know, you'll be really helping me out. Okay, folks. So bye bye for now, and uh, I I will do another one when this is done and show you the, the results. All right. So bye bye.